It's time for Rick Bentley's TV Beat television program. Stay tuned for former Fresno Bee media and entertainment writer Rick Bentley as he brings the TV Beat column to television with the latest news of what's happening in local radio, television, and more. And now, here's Rick Bentley. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to TV Beat with Rick Bentley. A very special thanks for those of you who watched the initial program and decided to come back. Now, as an update for the first-time viewers, yes, I am the same Rick Bentley who was a writer for the Fresno Bee for the past 18 years. This program is designed to be a TV version of my column that published each Thursday, where I wrote about what was going on in local TV and radio. Now, you'll get that same, same information through this program that will be airing on KGMC Channel 43.5, also known as Antenna TV. Now, those of you who have Comcast Cable can see us on 378. The first airing of the show will always be on Saturday at 6.30 p.m. Like all great TV shows, this will repeat on KGMC and other local channels. Now, the best way to, to find out where you can find those other viewings is to go to my website of www.rickbentleytvb.com. Now, reminder, as always, it's good to have a pencil and paper handy while watching the show, as I will have some important information for you to jot down. It's always nice to share that information. You may want to look at it later. Now, I have to take a break, but when I come back, I'm going to tell you about somebody you might have seen at Roger Rockers years ago who's making it big in Hollywood. You know us, we're the Fresno Breakfast House, a great place for breakfast or lunch. Did you know we have a beautiful banquet facility? The Grand Banquet Room, adjacent to the Fresno Breakfast House. It's one of Fresno's newest event venues. Our location makes the perfect event center for bridal and baby showers, birthday parties, award ceremonies, family reunions, holiday parties, and conferences. Our lovely venue includes AV equipment and can host up to 130 guests. We combine casual elegance with unbeatable values. Call the Grand Banquet Room for your next occasion. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in for the second episode of TV Beat with Rick Bentley. Now, this show has officially lasted longer than the CBS drama South of Sunset starring Glenn Frey. Maybe that show would have lasted longer if it had been designed like this one to help you keep up with what was going on in local TV and radio. Now, before I go any further, I want to, I want to thank Ronnie Paul and John Malice for having me on their local program so I could promote TV Beat. Now, Malice covers the hot topics with his Connect With Me show that airs 10 a.m. weekdays on uh, MeTV Fresno, Xfinity 375, and Northland Channels 2 and 9. And Ronnie Paul's show airs 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. Saturdays on KGMC 43.5, which is Comcast 378. Now, one of the biggest stories this week involved Fresno native Sharon Leal. She, uh, she has joined the cast of the new drama series Instinct that's set to premiere during the 2017-2018 season. Instinct follows Dylan Ryan, who's played by Alan Cummings. He's a former CIA operative. Uh, she gets called in to, to work on a show where uh, these people are tracking down a serial killer. Uh, she's the best friends of a, a, a New York police officer who's been promoted to take on the case. Now, the series is based on the James Patterson book. Now, Leo has been acting and singing since she was a kid, going to Roosevelt School for the Arts in the late 1980s. She's known to audiences for roles such as Dream Girls, Why Did I Get Married, and Addicted. Now next you can see in, her in the Netflix feature, Amateur. She also was on the series Supergirl, Boston Public, and Hellcats. I've had several opportunities to talk to Sharon Lill, and she's quite talented. And is another great example of what this market has done as far as turning out local stars and local products for TV shows. She's one of the many stars that include uh, Christopher Gorham, and, uh, who has who starred on multiple TV shows. Uh, so it's uh, one thing I always like to talk about is living in this market has always been great because it's so close to LA. People here can can go down there and start a career. It's something you can't do if you lived in Boise or Billings or somewhere on the other side of the country. 
It's a great place to live if you want to have a, a, a career in show business. And Lil's a perfect example of this. You know, she started out with small roles. I remember seeing her on Boston Public as really kind of a supporting player. But over the years, she has grown uh, immensely and taking on some starring roles over the years. I don't know if you saw her work in Supergirl, but she was quite good as the, the White Martian. It was a one-year swing for her, obviously because she has a new, new show coming up on CBS. So Leo and all the other locals are just an example of what this market has to offer. Uh, it's always great fun to talk about them. It's always great fun to track them down and find out what they're doing next. Uh, and again, it's going to be fun. I'll be able to talk with Leo in the next few months because the television critics are getting together for their annual meeting. And I'll be able to talk with her about her new show, get an update on what her character is, and maybe bring you some video of, of her talking about that new show. Either way, I'm going to keep you informed of what's happening with her and all the other people in, in local film and television who are working. Now, coming up next, uh, I'm going to answer some viewers' questions. Uh, some of you were really nice and sent me some, some uh, emails asking about local people and local television, and I'm going to try to each time uh, go in and, and read those and either respond to you directly or talk to you on this show. Uh, and then I'm also going to talk to you about... Uh, what keeps children entertained in the Fresno market? Uh, I've got a very special guest in connection with that. So we've got some things to talk about as far as uh, local entertainment is concerned. Uh, we also have the uh, information about the uh, local children's programming we'll get to. So for right now, I'm going to uh, take another quick break, and then I'll come back and we'll talk about all that. <music> Come experience Lin's Fusion, where the flavors of Asia come together. Lunch or dinner, Lin's offers an endless buffet, including sushi, dim sum, vegetarian, teppanyaki, all freshly prepared with warm family hospitality. Complete your meal with one of 14 flavors of exotic tea prepared at your table. Lin's Fusion, where the flavors of Asia come together seven days a week. 5155 North Blackstone in Fresno. Visit us on the web at linsfusion.com. Thank all of you who sent me encouraging mails and told me how much you enjoyed the first show. I think some of you might have been lying, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take anything I can get. One viewer had a question about the future of the TV show uh, Last Man Standing starring Tim Allen. Now, unfortunately, I have to tell you that ABC decided not to renew that Friday night comedy for a seventh season. Uh, the decision was a, a little surprising as Last Man Standing was ABC's second most watched comedy with 8.1 million viewers in that live seven-year-old up audience. That's behind Modern Family that was at 8.7 million. It was the third most watched ABC scripted show on the air behind Modern Family and Grey's Anatomy. Why they made that decision? really boggles me. There's a lot of opinions out there about what happened. All I can tell you is that it, ABC will no longer be airing new episodes. Now, uh, the show had better ratings than a, than a program like Off the Boat, which ABC, ABC decided to keep. Um, I think what the reason was that uh, uh, Last Man Standing was heading into its seventh season, and that means increased costs in making the show. A uh, show like Off the Boats going into the you know, third season, costs are cheaper. Also, I found out that ABC is getting out of the Friday night comedy business. Uh, come September, they're moving the show Once Upon a Time to Friday nights at 8 o'clock, and it's going to be followed by the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. spinoff called The Inhumans. So we're seeing a big shift by ABC as far as Friday nights are concerned. That's really strange because they've always seemed to have good success with that TGIF lineup, but they've made the decision and they've moved on. Now, there was a petition to save Last Man Standing and trying to get the show shopped to other markets, but so far, I've not heard of any takers. Now, I will tell you this, if you still like the show, it's, it runs and reruns constantly on a, a lot of stations, so you can see the older shows, but for right now, it doesn't look like any new ones are coming. So thank you for that, reader, for that question. If you want to know what is going on in local or national television, please send me an email to rb at rickbentleytvb.com. Again, this is why I told you you needed a pencil. Write down rb at rickbentleytvb.com. 
I will do my best to respond to you and answer the question either on the air or directly to you. Okay, let's change focus a little bit now and look at programming for children. You can't have spent 18 years covering local television without picking up on local trends. And what I saw was that programming aimed at children is very, very important, whether it be educational material uh, that you can find on like Valley PBS or the purely fun variety on the numerous local and cable channels. Uh, this, these are big with, with local kids, local, local young viewers. Now, one of the most watched TV movies in the 2015 season with young viewers in the Central Valley was a movie called Descendants. Now, that's not a big surprise, as it was the fifth most watched movie in cable TV history, in total viewers at 12.2 million, and it reached over 100 million viewers around the world. Uh, it was not just that. We know we live in a social media world. The, its videos on the Disney YouTube channel pulled in over 1 billion views. And a lot of those were the kids from the Central Valley who found this, this very enjoyable movie. The Descendant soundtrack topped the Billboard 200 album chart in its first week of release and was also ranked number one on the Billboard soundtrack children's chart. Okay, when you can also have a popular soundtrack, you know you're doing something right. The album was also number one on the iTunes album overall and soundtrack charts. Now, for those of you who didn't see Descendants, and it's probably some people, those of you who are, are teens and above, uh, I want to tell you that uh, the movie stars Dove Cameron, Cameron Boyce, Sophia Carson, Boo Boo Stewart, and Mitchell Hope. They play Mal, Carlos, Evie, Jay, and King, Ben. Uh, it's a story of the offsprings of some of Disney's most villainous characters, including Jafar, uh, Corella Deville, uh, and, and the Wicked uh, the Wicked Queen. So it was such a popular show that it's not surprising that a sequel was made. Uh, and Descendants 2 is scheduled to air July 21st. It's going to air on multiple cable channels, and I know if it follows the same trend as the first film, there are going to be a lot of local kids sitting in front of the TV sets to watch this film repeatedly. Now, I wanted to be able to give you as much insight into this film as possible. So I did have a chance to travel to Los Angeles and talk with several cast members and uh, to give you an idea of what what the reaction had been to the first film, uh, what we could expect with the next film, and uh, just give you a little insight of what it's like to be making a, a, a cable movie that has this much popularity. So what I want to do is be able to gi give you a, 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 a few moments where I sat down with one, one of the cast members and talked about the upcoming movie Descendants 2. Uh, again, I'll have more information about where you'll be able to see it after we, you see this interview that, that I do with the, the young actor, uh, uh, that it's going to come up after the next break. So we'll, I want to be able to talk about Descendants 2 with you when we get back after this, uh, this short break. Uh, I uh, will leave you now and come back and we'll take a look at uh, Descendants 2. <laughs> Take a vacation for an hour at Toledo's Mexican Restaurant. Come and enjoy our open-air patio and relax with a perfect margarita tucked away in the Mission Village Shopping Center on Shaw and Fresno. Toledo's Mexican Restaurant. Comida auténtica. So before the break, I was talking about how big TV programming is when it comes to local youngsters. Now, when it comes to cable homes, it's the Disney Channel that has a huge local following. One of the most anticipated movies for the Disney Channel, Descendants 2, will be broadcast July 21st. Now, I got to sit down with Cameron Boyce at the Disney Channel offices in Los Angeles to talk, to talk with him about his experiences with the, la uh, the last movie and what to expect this time around. So here's my conversation with that young actor about Descendants 2. Okay, after the first film, you had to have a lot of people come up to you and talk about what touch them about that movie. Mm -hmm. Can you just talk a little bit what what they're telling you, what it is about Descendants that's, I mean, you reach so many people? Yeah, I think it even sort of went past the original morals that we tried to mm -hmm. sort of reach people with. Um, I think the first movie we were, you know, it was all about like um, finding out who you really are and inclusion and, um, you know, really sort of diving 
deep into, um, you know, how, you know, even if people say, you know, this isn't who you are, you're not from around here, you're not this person, you can still choose, you know, whoever you want to be. Um, and I think not only did people, you know, sort of have that, it had that effect on them, but they also said that it made them brave enough to, you know, go to school and, and stand up to a bully. It made them brave enough to, you know, do things that, you know, maybe we didn't show, but somehow they sort of felt empowered by it. And, you know, it's, it's crazy to hear some of their stories um, because, you know, you feel like, for me anyway, like, you know, this is a job and, like, this is what sure. you do. And then to be able to impact people that much, um, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's special. Yeah, it's got to be just makes the job twice, yeah. ten times more. It's fun. a little overwhelming, too, because, oh, well, yeah. you know, there's a little pressure there. Like, yeah. you know, all these people sort of um, look to us as, like, a, a, a source of, you know, you know, we're... we're we inspire people to, to yeah. be, you know, to better themselves. So it's, it's yeah, but you've been doing, you've been acting for a while. I've been inspiring people for a while. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's still, but you know, that never uh, gets old, right? No, never exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, I, this is, isn't giving anything away, but mm -hmm. the uh, first film set up the had to set up the characters and do right. all that sort of thing. Right. The second one takes us, I think, on a bigger adventure. Mm -hmm. Is that safe to say? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, yeah. I mean, obviously, in the first one, we sort of it ended as like, okay. Now we're accepted in this place. And then the second one is, okay, now we're in this place, and this place is very different. Mm -hmm. um, there are things that um, we've never had to think about that are, you know, responsibilities or maybe feelings that we feel. Like for Carlos, you know, he, he sort of has this crush that um, he's probably never had a crush before. Mm -hmm. He's probably never felt affection the way he does now um, for this person. And it's a little confusing. Um, He's never been hugged the way she hugs him. He's never, you know, felt these kind of things. So, you know, it's it's a little overwhelming for him um, because, you know, this place sort of has all these new opportunities that are sort of presented to to all the VKs. Yeah. This character has a lot of levels, but he mm -hmm. does get to be evil. Yeah. Is it fun to be evil? Is it yeah. fun to play bad? Yeah, yeah. That's that's one of the best parts about it. Um, I think being, you know, being that sort of evil. Uh, you know, just get to do whatever you want and kick over things, and like that's that's the most fun. That's the most fun to play. Uh, you know, everybody wants to be the good guy. Um, I feel like we have the best of both worlds too, because we're also, you know, we're the evil that yeah. you root for. Exactly. <laughs> so it's, hey, like, uh, that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Of all the characters, uh, uh, to you, to me, the costuming on you to, is is the most defining of the characters. Mm -hmm. As soon as I see that costume, I know mm. who his parents are. Mm. Did you feel that way as soon as you slipped on the outfit and the ha got the hair all done? I mean, did it all yeah. just feel right? I think that has a lot to do with the fact that Cruella was, you know, I mean, Cruella is the fashion designer and she's the one who's like really into that, right? And she's okay. all about the fur and all about the, so for me to have, obviously her color, you know, her palette and then also with the fur and the, tail and the, mm -hmm. you know, things that are very Cruella. Yeah. Um, you know, she's uh, definitely a, uh, a unique fashion icon almost. Yeah. It's like really cool. Yeah. I know you have a, a dance background, so mm -hmm. I'm sure that part is not a concern. But as a, to me, as a, being an actor is hard enough. Yeah. When you have to split your focus between singing and acting and dancing, mm -hmm. is that hard or does that just help you find that full character? I think, I think the latter. I think the second one. I think it's... Um, I mean, for me, too, like, I, I just so look forward to that. And, you know, some actors are obviously not dancers. Oh, right. Um, so it can be, you know, tedious and tricky to have to think about that and then also their lines and things like that. Um, but, you know, for me, uh, that's that's something that I'm just, like, I want it. Like, that's 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 what it is for me. Like, that's it's awesome. Yeah. I, I, I know these things are... It, it's grueling to do any kind of filming like that. But I would imagine with your dance background and the mm -hmm. physicality of all that, probably, do you feel less tired? Do you think that's helped you sort of handle Absolutely. that workload? Absolutely. I think that, I mean, having a dance background anyway, just in life, really yeah. helps. Really helps. Um, but to be able to have that background and, you know, be able to pick up on the choreography, it, it makes it a little um, less difficult, less things right. to think about if it just sort of comes naturally to you. Um, so yeah, for me, you know, and it also gives me the freedom to pitch something, right? And collaborate. Be part of and it. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's what they really sort of, you know, Kenny and, and Tony both they really are like, hey, whatever you want, whatever you feel, tell us. 
Okay, wrap this up real quickly mm -hmm. with, you're casting me now mm -hmm. as the grandfather of one of the characters in the movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whose grandfather am I? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I don't know. What do you? What would you say your no, strengths no, 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 are no. as an actor? You're the casting. You're, oh you're, no. no. We're going strictly. At, this is superficial. Okay. What you see is what you get. Okay. I think you could be. I could see you in an eye patch. Oh. I could I, see you I, as Harry Hook's grandfather. Wow. Yeah. I, that works for me. Yeah. It works for me. Just don't shower for about a week, and <laughs> gotta get I you a little. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, so Dirty you up a little bit. We're ready. All right. Thanks for me. <laughs> Absolutely. It. Yeah. Yeah. Those kind of interviews are always fun to do, and I want to thank the Disney Channel people for letting me do them. Uh, along with the two Descendants movies, Cameron wa was a voice in the animated, man animated series Jake and the Neverland Pirates and starred in the uh, Disney Channel series The Gamer's Guide to Pretty Much Everything. If you want to see Cameron's work along with the rest of the cast uh, in Descendants 2, that film will debut at 8 o'clock Friday, July 21st, now get this, here's where you need the pencil and paper, on the Disney Channel, ABC, Disney XD, Freeform, and Lifetime. So if you miss it, it's your own fault because it's going to be out there everywhere. This really does show you how much faith the Disney people have in this movie. And I can't tell you uh, how entertaining the first film was. You know, it, it's uh, both of them are musicals. If you like the, uh, the show's high school musical, uh, this falls really in the category. But it also blends that sort of once upon a time feel with these characters being based on real life Disney characters. So uh, I have to highly recommend Descendants 2. You've got plenty of places to see it. All right, it's time for another break. When you come back, I'm going to tell you about how one former Fresno State student ended up in a lot of jeopardy. <laughs> Richards, a valley dining tradition, serving great food since 1969, including Richards' famous deluxe dinner for two, multiple choices at a fixed price, great tasting steaks or seafood, Richards' deluxe dinner for two, a favorite, it even includes wine. A Central Valley dining tradition on historic Belmont off 180. Follow our neon sign to Richards, where you'll find something special and something good right on the menu. Time to get you caught up on some other local news. I have a couple stories about how you can take your first steps toward making it big. Uh, as I've told you before, this is a great market to live in because you can go to LA real quick to be on game shows. So file this story under the category of one on Jeopardy. Uh, Peter Graguzian, a former linguistic student at Fresno State, was a three-day champion on the game show, finishing with $44,800. Uh, Graguzian attended University High, got his master's at Fresno State. Uh, he's graduated and is now at USC working uh, on his Ph.D. Uh, I had a t uh, he had an up-and-down show. Uh, the guy had real trouble with... Uh, the, uh, the, double, the double jeopardy questions. It was a real roller coaster ride for him during those three days. So let's just take a look at one of, one of his shows, one of his appearances on Jeopardy. Well, Deb, back to you. Uh, Veep 400. This Indiana man signed the Religious Freedom Restoration Act as a governor, but soon also signed a revision. Peter. Who is Mike Pence. Correct. Veep for 600. Last night, I dreamt of Mandaring again and of this man who became Veep in 1813. Peter. Who is uh, Monroe? No. Melanie or Deb? Deb. Who is Madison? No. Who is Elbridge Gary? Back to you, Peter. Okay, Veep for 800. Answer. Daily double. You know, I admire people who were on that game show. I don't think I'd last around. I'd set a record for the most lo money lost. So um, my, my uh, admiration goes out to anybody that's on there. Uh, he was tripped up on his fourth day by the final Jeopardy category of sports and politics. Now, the answer to the, that threw him off was, after moving to Johannesburg in 1903, he formed the Passive Resisters Soccer Club. What was the answer? Well, the correct question is, who is Gandhi? Now, I'm sure all of you knew that. Look, I'm t I think you should apply to be on the show. Uh, there's no state in the union that's produced more Jeopardy contestants than California, which is in its 33rd season. 
Now, to get on the show, go to www.jeopardy.com slash be a contestant backslash to find out how to get onto the program. Uh, also, I want to, to remind people that uh, the Jeopardy airs on uh, ABC 30, uh, Monday through Friday at uh, 7 o'clock. So tune in to see that. All right. So you want to be a star. The fifth annual ABC Discovers Digital Talent Competition is going on right now. Now, it ends July 19th. And they're looking for participants, which means you do not have much time to fill out your, your application. The competition aims to discover and, and champion actors who may not have the opportunity to, to be seen yet by a team of professional casting executives. Uh, actors 18 and older are encouraged to visit abcdiscovers.com to enter the contest for the chance to receive, now get this, a one-year $25,000 talent deal with ABC. The 2017 winner will be announced Thursday, August 10th, uh, when their videos, along with the other top finalists, will be featured on the ABC Discovers website. Now, once again, I'm telling you, you don't have a lot of time. Time is limited, so get to work. It's time, uh, uh, it's time for me to take another break, but I do want to stress one more time that we live in a great area here in Fresno. It's not that far to L.A., and things like this are open doors for you. You've got to take those chances. So I'm hoping you wrote down the address and you, t you at least go online and, and take a look at entering this competition. A lot of you are young actors out there who are looking for that big break, and this may be the chance of a lifetime. We're in a great spot here. Take advantage of it, please. I'm asking you to do that. All right. Time is very limited to enter that contest. It's so limited that I'm going to take another break so I can fill out my own application. Maybe I'll be a star with ABC. No, I like where I'm at right now. Come on back after the break. <laughs> Welcome to Deli Delicious. What can I get you? Grilled chicken Caesar salad. Number 41. You know I love that steak and jack. Everything on that? The works. Ooh, it's so hard to choose. Let me get the 35, the 41, and the 24. Absolutely. Number 44, chipotle chicken. Turkey, avocado, and sprouts. Number 45, barbecue tri-tip. I love the bread. The meat. The crisp lettuce. Lots of avocado. Everything. Fresh ingredients just taste better at Deli, Deli Delicious. Delicious. Well, before we wrap up for this, this episode of TV Beat with Rick Bentley, I just want to remind you how important it is to hear from you. There are numerous times when I would get email questions about a TV report or a new radio format when I was working for the B, and uh, that would spark me to invest, investigate what was happening. Now, to contact me, just send an email to rb at rickbentleytvbeat.com. It's real easy, rb at rickbentleytvbeat.com. Uh, the show needs to be interactive. I can't stress that enough. I want your questions. I want your responses. I want to make this your show. Uh, you've seen from today's episode that we're going to talk about local people who made it big. We're going to talk about uh, uh, some uh, national programming that's big in, in this market, especially with children. Uh, I can't do enough to promote children's programming. So I'm counting on you to send me your questions and your comments. Please don't be don't be shy about this. Uh, this is a this is a big uh, a big move on my part. I want to know you're out there. Uh, even if you got negative comments, look, I spent 18 years. I've heard every negative comment in the book, so it's really not going to bother me that much. But I do want to stress this is a show for you. I want you to be able to ask anything about TV and radio that's on your mind. I, no question, none is is too silly or too uh, too obscure. I will do my best to find it, or at least tell you why I couldn't. All right, we've got through two episodes. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better. Uh, next week, I'm going to really have a, a big show that's going to tell you about uh, some, uh, uh, some national program that is going to be, uh, have a local content to it. So I want you to tune in that week. And in, in the meantime, check out the web page. Check out the, the uh, send me an email. And uh, please uh, make plans to see next week's show. So f for, uh, for this week, I want to say thank you again. Thanks for tuning in to TV Beat with Rick Bentley. Thank you.